Hi, I'm Vince, and this is MMU Education. All right, if you or someone that you know is dealing with an unexplained disease that doctors can't explain, they feel terrible, and no one can tell them why, if you sit for this video, I'm most likely going to give you the solution or at least open the door to understanding everything that they're going through. This video could change your life. So most people today in the United States, when we look particularly, let's say, at women, but this could be with men, there is a rash of growing illnesses that are medical mysteries, things that people can't explain, but from random hair loss, right? Chronic swelling, weight loss resistant, chronic gut issues, SIBO, um, chronic fatigue, brain fog, um, losing mental acuity and decision-making skills, right? Random strokes that don't have to deal with common cardiovascular issues. There's all this rare, rare and unexplained happening. And whether you want to talk about things like long haul or COVID or, or random rashes, highs, unexplained histamine responses, all of this stuff can be lumped into a very important group. In fact, a group that I've given a name and been given a lot of flack on social media. In fact, many people have said that I'm a liar, I'm a cheat, I'm not telling the truth. Because for the last four years, I've been talking about a condition called OID, what we describe as overactive immune disorder. Well, recently, published in the Journal of Integrative Medicine, I got my vindication. Great medical minds are beginning to classify this condition called IMID, which stands for Immune Mediated Inflammatory Diseases. See, the problem is, is that most doctors, when you go in with symptoms, that doctor is going to be really trained in one system. Maybe they're an endocrinologist. Maybe they're a gastroenterologist. Um, maybe they're a cardiologist. They're very particular to one system. But what if people had a problem that related to all systems, but was it inside one system? See, one of the problems that happens in Western medicine is they only look in one system to explain all of your symptoms. But what we've learned with this new uh, release published article and what we've seen over the last four years starting to pop up in many studies is that the immune system itself can be the problem when triggered too much with toxic agents, high stress, um, taking too many other medications and a whole host of triggering events that can trigger the immune system. See, the immune system doesn't live in one place. If it had to live in one place, it would be in your gut. But your immune system actually is in each one of your systems, which there are 11 in the body. So it's possible that if I have an endocrine issue and my thyroid's a little bit low, that it's actually my immune system that's inside my endocrine system that's causing the problem. Or if I seem to be having an elbow issue or a knee issue, and I think it might be structural, it actually might be the immune system inside my musculoskeletal system that might be the problem. Again, the issue is though, if you can't find, if you send them to a rheumatologist, for example, who deals with the immune system, if they can't find an, an easily identifiable autoimmune disease, then they throw it off as it has nothing to do with the immune system. But we know today that the immune system can get overactive and not have an easily tracked in your blood antigen or antibody, okay? So then therefore, if it doesn't, then they can't find it. But we can tell today through the cellular mechanism of T and B cell activity and its reliance on mTOR, which is the burning of basically sugar and proteins um, to make fuel, that it can upregulate the immune system and cause havoc all throughout the body in all kinds of different systems, but it not be any of the one system that is the root cause, but in fact, the immune system itself. We call this OID, overactive immune disorder. And it is the root cause of many of the diseases that are unexplained today in America. If you love this content, please support the channel by liking and subscribing, and please hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we make a video drop. What this article describes is that different foods, stressors, different chemicals come in and they trigger the immune system and they cause dysbiosis in the gut. So many people with chronic gut issues that maybe take a probiotic, it goes away and then it comes back. Or many people that have rationing and hiving, they change the diet a little bit, it comes back. Or people that uh, had other health issues, they died a little bit, it goes away and then immediately comes back and they still kept healthy lifestyles, a lot of times it's because they only worked in one system and didn't impact or fix the systemic immune response to the problem. And if you only fix one component, 
the immune system will upregulate again and it will come back. That's why these people have chronic health issues. And if you don't work the immune system particularly, right, you'll never ever solve the problem. There are amazing new medications coming out that focus specifically on this, like rapamycin, um, thymosin alpha-1, uh, which is a peptide, and other agents set at calming systemic immunological response. The truth is, though, it starts with the microbiome. As this article points out, as your microbiome loses its diversity, okay, meaning that you have all of these different diverse bacteria in your gut, and as you keep eating the same food, you live a pro-inflammatory lifestyle, the diversity, like the rainforest, begins to decline. Think of a lot like Yellowstone Park. It is very hard for managers of the park to keep a healthy, balanced ecosystem because they've destroyed so much of the wildlife that exists there that it's hard to get a stable ecosystem to support itself, right? If we take too much of the rainforest away, we're going to see the same problems. The diversity of the ecosystem that sits in your gut is no different. So it gets down to a very few bacteria. Those bacteria grow too high. They release acids that then impact or negatively affect the immune system, which can trigger a long-term systemic prolonged immune response that doesn't calm down on its own. I'm going to say something controversial, so warning. Long hauler COVID is no longer COVID. It is the systemic, prolonged, overactive response of your immune system to a triggering event. So if you don't have immune protocols, along with working maybe a COVID protocol, you'll never solve the long hauler COVID problem. Well, today we know through different dietary interventions like fasting, ketosis, using different diet variation tools that we proprietarily use at my coaching companies or teach through my university, um, you can rebalance the microbiome, you can calm systemic immune response, and when you do them together at the same time, impossible outcomes are possible. I have to get this video, and I'll be honest with you, to, to a certain degree, this is a bit of a rub in the face uh, to all the people who said that I wasn't telling the truth because now today, publishing in journals across the, the world, practitioners are beginning to notice, like this journal article here, that these IMIDs are real. And they're happening. And it's something that people should take seriously. If you like this content, do me a favor. Check out more videos from us. And you can do that like uh, right around here or here. Check out the videos. Thanks.